classic Asian American questions. Basically, he he's using a lot of euphemism and funny words in a long way to ask, you know, what's with Chinese goods threatening Iranian artisans? Is there a point to people raising concerns about this? Are they correct, or is this people sowing discord? I think I think it's true. Um, they're not, okay. I mean, they're just competing, mm -hmm. and they're making higher good quality stuff at a cheaper price i think it's not necessarily they, higher quality they can make it cheaper than the rug makers I, in Isfahan that do everything by hand and it takes years to build a, a rug okay they're making rugs using machines that are people have a hard time telling the difference between them than handmade carpets so they're doing a good job and making i mean if you can't tell then they're doing a good job okay i mean i think this is whole a whole a whole bunch of racism maybe this whole idea of cheap cheap people use the word cheap as if it's not as good but cheap means they're being more efficient you know cheap means they're doing it they're managing to do it at a lower cost what does that and have to do if, with racism no, because this is like a lot of Iranians are becoming like, and you know, they're looking at instead of they're hating mm. everything China. All right. Yeah, I'm yeah, just yeah. saying that this is the game. This is the market speaking. Okay. If you can't compete, you know, then stop crying about the fact that the great, the game is being, you know, you can't, you're losing the game because somebody is doing better than you. Okay. You know, if you don't, I know if you hate the game, don't play, right? What is this saying? What is saying about hating the game? Don't hate the don't hate the game. Something don't hate the player, hate the game. Exactly. Exactly. Or if you yeah, so something like that. This is how markets work, right? They're coming in, they're making being more efficient at you at you making your own product, and they support they're they are they deserve the share of the market for succeeding at doing so so what is the what is the problem here because people are very sentimental and nostalgic and you know they're saying like oh this is killing you know the the, the traditional artistry the the artisans this whole you know thousand a thousand years of tradition yeah I mean, you have no emotional the connection to okay. that but there are a lot of people who do they really okay. you really know who gets to decide preserving these things you know who gets to decide what gets preserved and what gets to replace what was there before the market the customer also that well, if yeah. the people with their wallet they vote for what stays and what goes if what you like is not being voted for are you good? What are you going to do? Like more people don't think like you. If they did, they would buy what you want to be preserved. What are you going to do? You're going to force them to buy something they don't want. What is the solution to like, instead of letting the people decide what they want to buy to get like governments involved and not provide them with options so that they choose by force what you want to preserve? No, they, I mean, they could subsidize the traditional artisans, but I mean, that's not something. I so taxpayer money. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> be used, sub taxpayer money be used to artificially increase the demand for something that people are not organically voting with, with their wallet. I'm not saying it's a good idea. I'm just saying it's an idea. <laughs> yeah. In case you're I mean, people... saying, May the disharmonizers be smut by Ali Zulfugar and Star River Marshall's nine, nine tooth iron rake. <laughs> <laughs> no, so. Secular Sakai saying capitalism better than culture confirmed. Okay, that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying if your culture is popular, capitalism will spread it. And if people want your culture to, to spread more, they would vote with it for it with their wallet. Look at South Korean culture. It's taking over the planet. It's now competing with American culture in exporting of culture that's how popular it is because 
instead of crying like, eh, well, your people not you, eh. they just produce something that the whole world is like, yes, please give us more of that. Thank you very much. Give us more K-pop or Korean movies or TV series. Instead of crying about it, they actually produce something that people want. No artificial push needed. Capitalism spread their, is spreading South Korean culture across the planet because it's just good. Um, consider all this said, glad you guys got your YouTube funding. I promote you on Twitter. Well, thank you, oh, thank consider you. all this. That's very nice. You need um, to do that because we can't because we've been wiped out of YouTube. Uh, we've been banned Twitter. from Twitter. Actually, that's a good reminder, you guys, to subscribe to our newsletter because we never know where we will be banned next. So you always know where to find us if you subscribe to our newsletter. Link in the description. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.